the Holy Quran is concerned. Surah uh, Ambiya, Surah number 21, verse number 116, somewhere, 116 or probably a few verses earlier than that. Uh, if I have the the Quran, then I could just quickly take it out. The Holy Quran says that, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذِكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرَضَ يَرِفُهَا عِبَادِ سَالِمِ We have written in the Torah, in the book of um, Moses, uh, and also Psalms of David. And this is the verse of the Holy Quran, uh, that, our, that the whole of the earth will be uh, inherited by our good people, by the pious ones. This is the sign, the whole of the earth, not a part of the earth, the whole of the earth. Verse number 105, I was saying 116, 105. Um, so, uh, we have revealed this in Torah, the Gospel, the Psalms. That the whole of the earth. Now it says, Annal Arda Al Ard. The word Al in Arabic, you know, Alif and Lam, Al, you know, Al Quran, for example. It is for Istagra. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. All praise be to God. That is Al Lam, you know, the Al for Istagra, meaning to include everything. The whole of the earth will be ruled by, inherited by pious, the good. We have never had any messenger or any prophet rule the whole of the earth. They have had a part of the earth, but not the whole of the earth. So that is a sign that the whole of the earth will be ruled by Jesus and, and, and not by the Islam. When God sends the Islam, He gives the names of prophets. Like Islam is related by, led by Muhammad, peace be upon him. What is the logic behind that, that He did not mention the names of Imams and other things? Because He, he mentioned the Holy Prophet and He said, وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ رَسُولَ فَخُذُوهُ Whatever the Holy Messenger gives you, take it. And whatever He stops you from, then stop from it. So He gave you the names of the the Messiah and the, the successors. So you take it from him. That is also another trial of the believers. Do they take everything from him or do they not? Do they leave some things and take some things or do they take everything that he gives them? He says, this is what I am giving you. Believe in these things. So he himself gave the details. Many times the Holy Quran does not mention about the life of the Holy Prophet. It only gives signs and talks about the affairs but not does not go into the details. And that will only be taken from the Holy Prophet himself. Is there any other questions? I have a question myself, but I go after you. I have just one final actually, just on the subject of sign, just quickly. Interestingly, there are many references actually, the Sunni uh, references, referring to this sign when it says actually that when these prophets was referring to the Bedouin, yes. when they, you know, he described them and he said when they, when they come, when they will be competing in building tall buildings, they would be the sign of you know, of, of the time. And interestingly, if you see today, actually, we have, you know, we have uh, the people in Arabia actually are competing in building tall buildings, starting with Dubai and now Kuwait and Saudi Arabia want to build, to build the tallest tower on, on, on Earth. And interestingly, actually, I can, anyone interested, I can send them or have the references to refer to this uh, sign, which is very interesting. If, you know, if this yes, is there are many. I said, if you were to compile just the minor signs, then I could give you a list of a hundred. Um, yeah, my question was that, that is there anything that people can do in order to make the appearance of the Messiah sooner? Make it happen a bit earlier. Very important question. Can we can we hasten in his reappearance? Can we do something to for, for him to come early? There are many traditions, yes, always pray that he comes early. Your prayers will have an effect because if you pray for him, he will pray for you. His prayers will never be rejected because he is a representative of God. And anyone who is a representative of God, his prayers are never rejected, number one. Number two, um, giving charity on his behalf. There is a whole list. There is a book called Mikyal al Makarim, and I had asked a person and recently it has been translated. One of the other uh, references I can give you, Mikhail al Makarim, two volumes, um, just 150 years old. It's not a very old book, but uh, not contemporary either. So two, in now it has an English translation, uh, and he gives you uh, a lot of supplications, a lot of doings, charity, and other things, uh, the prayers, you know, certain namaz, you know, salats uh, that people should do, uh, and at least that if they die, then certain actions that they can do, that if they die before his coming, then they will be raised from their graves to come and join him. Thank you very much. Is there anything else? Yeah. Uh, uh, how can we best prepare ourselves for him, for his coming? 
when the Messiah comes, uh, what you want to be, you know, you want to be on his side and not anti-Messiah. You do not wish to be, uh, you know, against the Messiah. You want to be with the Messiah. So that's what's very, you know, that's very important that you prepare yourself that you are on his side when he comes. He will not be like any other ordinary human being. He will be a special blessed person that when you see that you will realize that he does not look like a, a common sinful person. He will be very blessed, um, a special blessed person of Allah SWT. So you want to be on his side. So it's a very another interesting question and important question that what should we do? Now first of all we should refrain from anything which is disliked, um, you know, according to the, the, the teachings of the, the Holy Prophet. Um, and not only just that we establish ourselves, but don't just be good for yourself. Try and bring other people to goodness. Um, so people who are very selfish will never be on his side because they have only thought about themselves. People who are selfish will, will not be on his side. One of the signs of a believer is that when he or she ascends, he improves or she improves. The people who were left behind amongst their friends, they try and bring them to the level that they had actually reached. So that is another sign. So never be selfish. Whatever you achieve, try and give the good to other people as well. Don't keep it to yourself. Um, so that is one of the most important things. People in the time of Nuh, alayhi salam, Noah, Noah's Ark, when he was building, many people, he said, God, why don't you destroy everyone in my people? They were good people. He said, the good ones were selfish. They said, we don't care about the bad people. If they are going to the hell, we will go to the heaven. So, selfishness is one of the things that, you, that will keep you away from the Messiah. So, not just being good yourself, but trying to invite other people, <coughs> spreading the, the good message and the goodness, <coughs> and the bounties and the blessings that you have, give them to the people. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you wanted to mention? Any comments? Oh, we still have time. Um, <laughs> we want to finish as soon as possible. So. Well, I think one of the problems, as the Saint mentioned, actually, I think there will be a lot of denials. And my concern of this topic, actually, most people who are calling for his return or believing his return, they will be among the most deniers. Uh, can I just finish yeah. off with this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, the people, you know, the book, the Holy Quran mentions that the people who were most eager to see Jesus, they were the first to deny. The people who were most eager and who had actually moved from all over the world and had gathered around Medina, not Mecca but Medina, you know people had actually come and live, let's harvest, let's do our farming, let's have the car, everything around Medina. So when the fire, you know, the, the last messenger, when Muhammad is when he comes, so they can join him. He said they were the first ones to say, let's kill him. Because they had become so evil themselves that they could not accept the message. Now that is very important that you know that all the ones who are saying that we will be the first to to welcome him, they should be the ones welcoming. Uh, God forbid there will be people who disbelieve today, but they will become believers when they see the Messiah. And many of the believers will not be believers, but they will say we do not believe in him because he is not interpreting religion as we want it to be interpreted. So it is very important that the ones who are good remain good and they accept his message. And also, I think also because our expectations are so high, yes. <coughs> which most people actually will not believe in because they have some sort of unrealistic expectations. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to thank you for your very nice speech and everyone who attended the uh, event tonight. Uh, just.